Welcome back, everyone. I'm Justin with Isis Carry Wisconsin, and I am joined by my best friend Gage for another haunted attraction review here in 2024. Tonight's victim, or tonight's <laughs> I like or, the word or choice. tonight's subject is <laughs> Warriors Haunted Asylum in Mount Calvary, Wisconsin, in the Fond du Lac area. Now, this is a haunt that's been on our radar. For a very long time as it's been recommended to us for like the last two three four ish years we've had people recommending that we check this out for quite a while now we were already in kewaskum for terror shed and we thought you know what no time like the present let's hit warriors haunted asylum there is a incredibly welcoming vibe here at the asylum this is a this is one of those haunted attractions you go to and when you get out of the car you're you're greeted by the the parking lot manager hey you know welcome to the show go get your tickets here thanks for coming thanks for supporting us you know this is one of those one of those haunted attractions where you the the uh, um the general feeling initially we talked about this in our last review of the terror shed the general feeling of the haunt very humble we like that a lot um the the uh the welcoming nature at the front of this house was stellar a really wow experience uh i did try talking to an actor in the parking lot did not go <laughs> that well did not go that well got totally ignored great actor work Really set, really set a good pace for this. I liked it. I liked it a lot. On Saturday the 19th, the gal who was taking tickets and bringing people into the house, um, giving you the rules, all that kind of stuff, stellar work. Awesome job. We liked it a lot. The show was quite uh, interesting, I think, is how I would describe it. But how did they score? Let's find out. Without further ado, general. Is there a website? Yes. Does it have good information? Yes. Most of their stuff links you to some of the haunted Wisconsin websites. Is parking available on site? Yes. And is it clearly labeled and attended? Yes. Is there a clearly labeled and attended ticket booth? Yes. And does it present rules and prices? Yes. Clear queue lines? Yes. Are the attractions clearly marked? Yes. Are atmospheric music and audio selections appropriate when used? Yes. Did actors stay in character? For the most part. Was the haunt fully well staffed? For the most part. Was there clear directions through and after the haunt was over? For the most part. <laughs> was the lighting used in the haunt appropriate? Yep. Was there any unusual sense? Yep. Did you catch another group? No. For the most part. More on that later. Was the scenery appropriate? Yes. Did the haunt maintain immersion? Yes. Was the walking path safe and well maintained? Yes. Did the haunt feel appropriately priced? Yes. And did it have good atmosphere? Yes. So they lost a few points here. Uh, I took one off for actors staying in character. I saw an actor in full makeup and full regalia, basically having a normal discussion with customers. Um, you only lost one of five points for that. Not really the end of the world, but I also mm -hmm. can't look the other way on it. Um, was it fully and well staffed? I gave four out of five points here. So again, you only lost one point on this one. I felt it was pretty well staffed, but there were definitely some areas that would have benefited from an additional scare actor. Was there clear directions through and after the haunt was over? I said yes for the most part. I gave one out of two points here. There were multiple points in the haunt where uh, four grown adults were not sure where they should be going. 
and this slowed us down so the group behind us ended up catching us. Which goes right into, did you catch another group? I said no, but one caught us. And Which that, doesn't happen normally, by the it way. It normally does not happen. <laughs> so either something was off with the pacing or something else happened there. Either way, it really killed the experience. Uh, that being said, you still scored 36 out of 40 points. Well done. Very well done. I liked it a lot. Um, I got my 36 right here. Go ahead, Gage. Lay it on us. For scares. I got, did Atrus attempt to scare you? Yes, for two. Were masks used a good quality? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, for two. Oh, yeah. Did props seem real and scary? Yes, for two. Yeah. Were the actors in the correct positions to enhance the scares? I give them a half point on this. More on that later. You mean one of two points. Which would have been one point, so one of two. I guess I'm being too mathematically correct when I could just make it simple. <laughs> Uh, were there a variety of monsters and haunters on site? It wasn't all zombies or all werewolves, etc. I want to note something on this really quick here. At first, I almost gave them no, because I thought it was all one, the same thing. But I realized the name is Warriors Haunted Asylum. So there's just a bunch of lunatics kind of ordeal going around. So they're not supposed to be zombies, werewolves, vampires, or aliens, whatever. It's not supposed to be some stuff like that. Just a bunch of psychopaths. And so, like I said, I give them, give them back. Two points. Did the actors try to scare you twice in the scene? Yes. Did the actors try to scare you three times in the scene? We counted. I didn't come across any. I, I couldn't give them the two points for that one. Did any actors scare from above? No, I couldn't give any points for that, but they did get us below the waist. We're going to touch on that a little bit more later, uh, which is two points for that one, by the way. Was there more than jump scares in the haunt? Yes, five points. Pretty interactive at some point. Yeah. Uh, was there a go-home scare? Yes, mm -hmm. there was a go-home scare. Was now, again, Heads Terror Shed, new experience. We can't keep the same old scary. So what we did was overall experience. And the overall experience, I'd give them about a four out of five. Still a great experience. Nonetheless, did any actors seem well-trained and enthusiastic? Uh, did actors seem, not any, did actors seem? And that was a yes. I gave them two points. Were all props, animatronics, and devices in working order? Yes. Yeah. Two points. Yeah. Were there any unique scares? Uh... Yes, there was. Two points. Did any anyone scream, get out? Thankfully not. Two points. <laughs> Did any sounds used to enhance the scares? I had to think about this one, but there is. The chair. Two points. The chair. Yep. That's why I kind of stuttered on that last question, because I'm like, should I? But uh, so, out of total, this gave them 34 out of 40. I, I, I'm hesitant. I want to recheck my math. If you want to go ahead, Justin. Yeah. So I will talk about something that uh, you uh, that you just kind of mentioned there. When you talk about did any actors say get out? They didn't say get out, and we were kind of like whispering to ourselves as we were walking through a few of the rooms, like don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. You know, because there's always that point where you've been in a room for too long, which of course we were where somebody's gonna be like, get a move on or get going, you know? And it is so easy to resort to saying, get out, you know? And, it is. And I was just like, don't say it, don't say it. I want you to get those two points, don't say it. And even at the back half of the house in the garden, there were a few points where it was kind of like, get the hell out of here, get the hell out of my garden, you know? You know, and it was, but it but was. there was more to it. it. Was, yeah. There was more to it than just saying, get out, you know. So, fresh meat. Yeah, on the fresh menu. meat, get out, you know. That, to me, there's a difference between saying, get out, and saying, get the hell out of my garden. Especially given the situation and where we were. Now, Gage, did you come up with 34 when you recounted? Yeah, it was 34 out of uh, 40. So they're currently I sitting at 70. Jenna out grading of, mine. Currently sitting at what? 70 out of 80 points. I had Jenna grading it as I was cooking, so I didn't realize you normally do put the total score in there. So It's fine. No problem. No problem. Um, yeah. So right off the bat, Warriors Haunted Asylum is fun. It's a fun show. 
It is. Uh, if you haven't been to this haunt yet, it's a must visit. Really good time. Really enjoyed. And we kind of figured, man, what, you know, we're already down there. Let's do it. And I'm glad we did. It was a, it was a, it was a, uh, it was an awesome time. I want to talk about extra points for a moment, but before we do, I actually want to do MBAs first because I don't want to forget to mention this. So my MVA, Most Valuable Actor, my MVA was the guy in the walk-in freezer room. Um, thought he was a prop, as I did a lot of the actors early on in the house, because they were totally still. This is excellent actor work, first of all. You just let people come in and they're like, oh, yeah, I wonder what this is going to be like. And they're walking around the room, like trying to figure out where to go. And you haven't moved yet. And as soon as they move towards where they're supposed to go, you just blow up on them. <laughs> and it was it was it was outstanding, and it made my heart jump. And so I actually had some scarret badges with me on this night, and they may not even know I did this. They might know I did this. They may have thrown it away. They may have thought it was just a piece of junk somebody left on the table. But I actually left a golden actor badge on the table for that actor in the walk-in freezer room. And, you know, actor, even if you never see this, maybe somebody from Warriors will and they'll tell you. On Saturday the 19th, there was a actor, a premium top-tier actor badge left in there for you. Uh, it was a really great scare. You played that room really well. And even after we saw you, you still stayed in character kind of laughing at us. And then you quick were like, ha, ha, ha. You kind of like gave us the personality switch. And you totally stayed in character. That was really, really quality actor work, and I liked it a lot. Gage, your MVA. I'm echoing exactly what you said. That, he, let me just describe the fact that I walked in there. I had T-Rex vision, okay? It didn't, he didn't move. I thought he was a prop. I'm like, okay, go, go right, left. And I, I do like how that room is kind of set up to where it makes yeah. you, it makes you stumble. Yeah. It makes you be like, did we walk into the right room? Yeah. And then you see this guy standing there, thought he was a prop. Again, T-Rex vision. He didn't move, so I'm like, okay, cool. Holy hell, did he slam that freezer hard or whatever that was? My ear was ringing. I was like, oh, boy. I, I got sent to an ethereal realm. and You, I went, had to to shadow, back to you my, went to the shadow I, realm. Yeah, I, I had to, like, kind of wrap my head back to what the heck was happening, and I and I was just like, my Bop. Bop. <laughs> but let it be known this actor and that room top tier top notch top notch um before we move on to bonus points i, I you're, you're going to talk about some other points right yeah i have a whole okay. like paragraph and i i got some things about. too so okay go ahead so before we get into this i know this is warriors haunted asylum's first interaction with us i want you guys to remember that we are known for our no bs approach to haunt uh reviews uh, it's just the way we do things. We're not really big fans of babysitting grown men or grown women with their haunt projects. We just tell you what you what we really think, and you know we give you some constructive criticism along the way, and we hope somebody finds something useful. So if anybody finds anything about our review useful, make sure you let us know down in the comments below. But keeping that in mind, overall, I was not let down by Warriors Haunted Asylum. I wasn't. They delivered. But I needed more from the back half of the house. It was weak. The chainsaws, however, were solid. Everything in the asylum was strong and well done. I think their pacing could you let me rephrase that. Their pacing could use a little bit of work. It completely killed the show for us when a big group of teens caught us. We had a chance to catch up with Dan, the owner, and again, just like we talked about with Terror Shed, humble comes to mind. What a down-to-earth dude with a great 
mind and attitude toward haunting. Wow. I've seen plenty of haunt owners talk down to other haunt owners in private discussions. Dan had an opportunity to do this. And instead of talking down about the terror shed, Dan bragged them up. And he told us what a solid show, an excellent show it was. This is the sign of somebody who cares about the industry. Not somebody who only cares about his own show. That's almost like a grandfather of a sort, you know? Dan, I agree. Mm -hmm. Dan is the haunt owner I want running my attraction. It's not often I get this passionate about something. But as a business owner myself, I've made some of these mistakes and I've seen other people make these mistakes. And it is very impressive how he handled himself. Especially when he was approached by two grown men saying, hey, by the way, we're haunt reviewers. We want you to know we just went through your haunt. You had no idea. I want you to understand how cringe I feel when I come up to tell we are, people, hey, we are. I oh, we're, we're totally cringe. We're cringy the clown. I don't care. We're totally <laughs> cringe about it. But like, hey, I'm Jesse. It's really nice to meet you. It's my best friend, Gage. Uh, we're Is It Scary, Wisconsin. We just came through. We're reviewing your haunt tonight. Really cool show. And it's like you can kind of see almost for a moment like the deer in the headlights look. But the dude maintained composure. Super humble guy. Really welcoming guy. Loved it. Didn't put the dog on for us. Didn't didn't fake it for us or nothing. I like Dan. I like Dan a lot. <clears throat> Great dude. The post haunt fire and concession stand is a nice touch. You don't feel like, okay, you're out. Get out. Atmosphere wise, actor work is stellar. With a little bit of work, Warriors Haunted Asylum can easily climb in the rankings of Wisconsin's top haunts. While there is work to do, do not fool yourself for a moment. This haunt is not only scary, but it has plenty of character and does not forget its humble beginnings. What a better year to experience Warriors Haunted Asylum than on the 10th anniversary. And I'm glad we went. I almost want to call, call the South of Wisconsin the humble South, it almost seems. You no. ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. <laughs> Go ahead, Gage. You have some points sure. you want to make? So I want to make some points quick here. Okay, I moving on to bonus points now, guys. Let's move on to bonus points. So, <laughs> I couldn't help but feel... The pacing of, you know, how you said a group caught us mm -hmm. had a lot to do with the fact that we had a hard time finding our way through some of the rooms. It was, it seemed rather difficult. And I feel like that was something that might be affecting the flow to where we got people catch up with us. What's your, what's your take on that? This is something where just a little bit better actor instruction how remember actors want to scare and you placement. Remember, and placement remember and placement remember actors want to scare you they don't want to scare you like stopped they want to scare you almost either from the sides or they want to scare you towards the next area they never want to scare you and stop you they never want to stop the flow of that traffic in the haunt let me get this let me make this point, though, is that I know we just got done talking about that guy in the freezer room that slammed that uh, freezer chassis and that scared the hell out of us because we didn't know where the hell we had to go. I know that kind of, like, my previous point counters that, but the thing is, you can have those kind of rooms. You can totally open have the door the and showed us where to go. A exactly. You can have those ones where yeah. it makes you stop and look around, like, yeah. did I go through the right way? Of course. But the problem is, that shouldn't be happening for every other room. Because that's how it felt like going through the house. It felt like every time you had to stop, look left and right before crossing the road, and then, bam, active. You know, like... <laughs> stop and go. Stop and go. Stop and go. 
I wanted to make that point. I feel like that's what affected our pacing. Moving on, the outside paled in comparison to the inside. The outside really kind of struggled. Yes, it was weak. There was the cool chainsaw ending. I, I almost I want to make this point. You don't need to keep adding on the outside to have a good haunt. Um, I want to make a. Uh, I want to refer to a previous haunt, Scare USA, who they had that you know they had the main attraction in the outside area, and then they just they scrapped the outside area, and it made the haunt feel so much better. You know, less is more when it comes to haunted houses. And just because you're gonna throw in some outside, you know, doesn't mean you need to. It doesn't mean you can, doesn't mean you should. So there's some other haunts that comes to my mind this year that I feel like, let's scrap the outside and just focus on that house because that house, I loved it. Let's just put the resources into that. Not to say you can't do outside, well, so moving on, I want to also congrats on 10 years, by the way. I We saw the little birthday cake Easter egg room. I like that. Congrats on your 10 years, Warriors Asylum. I I kind of want to explain the my, why I took the point off for um, actors and correct positionings. Because when it came to that pacing, we did catch an actress off guard a little bit here. I just, I want to make a little note, I'm not going to beat a dead horse on this, is that can we have like a kind of an internal clock to where, hey, maybe I'm spending too much time with this actress, let's move to the next one. I understand that's hard and I'm not an actor myself, so who's who's me to say that? You know what I mean? But I just feel like I shouldn't be catching act actresses and actors off guard. You know what I mean, Justin? Well, even if you do, it's all right. You can still play it off. And what she did. I'm not saying, the you know, reason, she did. She did play it off. You know, the reason it wasn't so bad is because she ad-libbed <laughs> the performance so well. Mm -hmm. She did really, you know, she kind of, she kept it going. She had joke she did. after she did joke job. after joke after joke. And it was solid. So that, I think, was all right. Which is why I didn't take out the full two points because yeah. I felt like she she really recovered after that. Yeah, she so. did, and that is that is a testament to the actor training and the quality of actors they have at Warriors Haunted Asylum. The 100%. Act, the actor quality there is is very tops, very tops. We can move on to bonus points now. I'm done. Sure, I'll go first. They're standing currently at seventy total points. I gave a extra point for the multi-floor nature of the haunt. It keeps you guessing what's coming next, especially when you're headed down into the basement. I gave an extra point for the freezer scare. This was epic. It made me jump. It freaked me out. It caught me off guard. And I immediately pulled the golden actor badge from my pocket and placed it on the table on the way out of the room. You have no second thoughts. That, I didn't. I didn't. Out. I didn't. That was scare of the night. Mm -hmm. The very, very, very first scare of the haunt looked like a prop. Wow. Plus one for an additional point. That's three so far. Plus one, the basement was outrageously authentic. In fact, it's probably authentic because I have multiple friends who own old houses, think late 1800s, early 1900s authentic, and one of them still has the bark log style construction. I was reminded of that kind of stuff in the basement at Warriors Haunted Asylum. And I couldn't stand up in the basement. <laughs> really, really cool. I liked this a lot. Plus one. Plus one point. These scenes were solid and believable. The psych ward comes to mind. I'm going to touch on that in a little bit. Plus one, the girl working in the psych ward 
was awesome. And again, we talked about him earlier. Let's talk about him again. Plus one for Dan. What a humble, awesome dude. And I'm really happy that I forced myself to walk up there and introduce myself. This can be hard when you're meeting somebody for the first time and you have no idea how to start a conversation with them, especially when you're reviewing their work. And you come off as some cringe YouTuber. Yeah, you come off as some <laughs> cringe YouTuber, dude, who half the people don't like because you're too honest. Meeting Dan was an awesome experience, and I'm happy that I stuck my hand out, and I'm happy that I got his attention the way I did. Excellent. Seven additional points, putting your current score at a 77. Go ahead, Gage. So my additional points comes from the interactivity it felt now where the shortcomings of less jump scares this haunt had the more interactive actor just appearing from the shadows telling you interactive getting like a little story or talking to you hassling you whichever whichever their actor the actor the character um profile was the interactivity, I had to give a point, give that point for. The character, the actor interaction is probably a better word. Not interactive, actor That's interaction. That's fine. My next point is the scare work at the line. I don't want to say anything because it's a spoiler. <laughs> but, exactly. But, you know, if you've been to Warriors Haunted Asylum, if you work at Warriors Haunted Asylum, or you're just a creepy person who looked through the windows of Warriors Haunted Asylum, I don't know how you could, considering that building is three stories up. Impressive. But the scare work you do with the different interactive ways the haunt people in the house could get the people outside, point for that. I also want to make a point for, I like the visual aesthetic going into the house when you're first walking up and you're like, you're in that bar, bar area, and then you see this cute little cabin on the side, you're like, is this a house in a house? What is this? So it, it was cute. I, I had to make a point of that. It I reminded that me of the Love Shack at Scary USA. At Scary, yeah, yeah. I, that's exactly what I was thinking to you. Yeah. I should have brought that point yeah. up to you. Yeah. I also... I, yeah, I like how this echoes what you said, because I loved the basement setting. You know, it actually felt like I was walking through the basement of some haunted asylum yeah. with a bunch of crap everywhere, which mm -hmm. is what a basements are. Bonus point for that. And my last bonus point is the R&R &R location, rest and relaxation, or rest in peace. That didn't make any sense. I tried to make a joke. The RIP camp. That's all right. R.I.P. I like that. The R.I.P. Oh, you got a you got a photo op. Rename that thing to the R.I.P. Camp. Is that what it was? You got a concessions. You got a campfire. Yeah, food, merch. It was all there. You got you could chill right there. It's not like a cool. You're done with our haunt. Get, Get out. Get the hell out. No, okay. it's like a, come hang out with us. Kind of ordeal. So yeah, bonus point for that R and R location. Immediately after the haunt and their go home scare. That's yeah. my two cents. Yeah. That brings the haunt to an 82 out of 100. A good haunt. Overall, at the end of the day with Warriors Haunted Asylum, I think it's a solid haunt experience. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great time. I think it has very it has a very humble and welcoming atmosphere. And it beckons scare scare seekers of all ages. I wouldn't say it's necessarily for kids, but I also wouldn't say it's necessarily not for kids. I enjoyed the experience tonight. And just like we talked with Terror Shed Gage, mm -hmm. when we go back in a few years, I want to see some serious growth because Terror Sh or Warriors Haunted Asylum has a great opportunity to continue getting better and better and better. 
This is their 10th year. For any haunt to make it past three to five years is incredibly impressive. Any final thoughts, Gage? I enjoyed it. Good time. I'm happy we went. I'm really happy we went to these two haunts, and I can see why both of them got recommended to us in the comments, for sure. And actually, if the actor that I left the badge in the room, if you ever see this or anybody ever sees this, if they actually found that badge, I would just like to know in the comments. I'm Justin with Is It Scary Wisconsin, joined by my best friend Gage. Make sure you guys are subscribed here so you never miss a Wisconsin haunted house, haunted attraction review. Honest. Yeah, haunted honest. House yeah, review. yeah, obviously. Brutally. <clears throat> yeah, well, whatever. And uh, if you've been to Warriors Haunted Asylum yourself, let us know in the comments. If you're a scare actor or actress and you found anything we said or mentioned in the review helpful, let us know in the comments. Like the video if you guys enjoyed this. And there is one thing we need to ask. Is it scary, Wisconsin? Oh, yeah. And by the way, there's merch links in the description. Merch, Instagram, follow us. Is it scary, Wisconsin? You tell us. Have a good night.